Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 card review hit a review a card that is set to be released in Premium Pack 16 coming March 21st. What we're looking at here is Swift Hippo Dynatherium. Sounds like a superhero. Probably the reason why he dressed up like that. Anyway, it's a Wind Beast Effect Monster, level 4, attack 1600, defense 600, and burping. <laughs> Description, you can special summon this card from your hand when you do. Your opponent can target one level 4 monster in either player's graveyard. Your opponent special summons that target to their side of the field. You can only apply, you can only special summon hip. You can only special summon Swift Hippo Dynatherium once per turn this way. So, this card is basically a chain summon. No, 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 because it does have 1600 attack and you need to have 50. I can't remember the name of that damn card, but it's a spell card that allows you to summon like multiple copies as long as the monster had like 1500 or less attack or something like that but so I don't think this can be used with it I'm not sure and I keep forgetting the name of that damn spell card but it was a quick play spell card and yeah it allowed that to happen um th they did put some risk involved with this card if like you want to obviously you want to use this when you don't have anything in your graveyard that is worth um grabbing on to or primarily when you don't have any monsters in your graveyard for them to to get or any level 4 monsters for them to get so that's it right there because you could just special summon this thing from the hand like nothing you know it's a wind monster so you can take your pick as to what this can go good in uh, but still it's you know you can just throw this damn thing out there like whoop there you go whoop there it is Cause that's exactly what this damn thing is whoop there it is it's just a special summon monster you could just special summon it from your hand like that no condition except that your opponent be able to special something from either player's graveyard. One level 4 monster from either player's graveyard. So you would really have to make sure that when you summon this thing, you you really want that to happen. Because you don't want to give your opponent anything. In my opinion. Like you really don't want to give your opponent anything. Now, there is one thing that comes to mind, now that I think about it. You can chain, you can chain um, a trap card and it goes by the name of Big Burn. Now what Big Burn does is that when your opponent, I, I believe when you're, let me, just, let me let me look at Big Burn, because I believe Big Burn allows that to happen. Let me see, Big Burn. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken. No, so like, let's just take a look at what this card effect does. You can only activate this, you can only activate this card when your opponent activates a card that targets a monster in the graveyard okay so no like you won't be able to use big burn on it because your opponent would have to target when your opponent ac activates a card you activate it you know um the monster effect by summoning it so i'm trying to think is there any way for you to take advantage of this monster's effect like how can you make that drawback a potentially dangerous drawback that can cause you to lose the match how can you make that drawback a an advantage how can you really make that drawback your advantage and you know that's my philosophy if you haven't watched that video please feel free to do so um but I, I'm, I'm really trying to think what can you use with this you know this might be another one of those moments where I need to look at the uh, tips I don't go to the tips because I like to think on my own, but like I'm kind of scratching my head on this. Okay, it can be suffer summon a monk vampire. La 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 la. Da 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 da. Early game, of course, you want to use an early game because you won't have anything for them to grab. Um, useful in the grave keepers. Uh, you're, you know, yeah, true. Grave keepers, you can use necro valley you know, on the field. That's something. Um. 
Macrocosmos deck. That was an idea I thought of. Um, but still, at that point, they would still have some monsters in the graveyard. Um, again, ideally, if you're using a Macrocosmos deck, you might want to run cards like you might, might want to run some cards like Soul Release to just banish the cards that are in the graveyard for them to get, uh, or or at least the those level four monsters that may be in there, so they don't have any targets. Uh, I mean, it's easy easy fodder for the monarchs, duh. Soul release, I I just said that soul release. Um, skill drain, okay, there you go. And uh, use it with a level four tuner, you'll be able to get crimson blader out. Okay, so th there are some options right there. Uh, some of which I pretty much already knew. But some of those, I, like, I don't know, like, I was just trying to think too hard. So, every once in a while, I go to the trivia. I mean, every every once in a while, I do go to the tip section. Every once in a while. But I like to think on my own, so I, I don't know. Maybe it's a pride thing. You know, like, I like to think by myself. I don't really like to be hinted as to how this w would work. You know, if, like, for me, like, it just kind of just takes the fun out of, you know, just trying to figure it out on your own. But it's there. Uh, so that's pretty much it, man. Uh, the, the Necro Valley, I mean, using Necro Valley with this. Um, yeah, your opponent won't be able to do crap. Um, pfft. Skill Dream. No. But if you wanted Skill Dream, you would want to use Crimson Blade as effect. So I don't know if that would be a problem. I mean, at least you have a monster on the field. But yeah, like, I'm going to do some more research with cards because Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki, uh, they don't really grab everything or any other, uh, you know, like, they don't really grab too many uh, good ideas, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the simple stuff that's really in your face that they feel you should know about because I found some things that, you know, that I could use to my advantage with cards like this just by me researching on my own and they didn't even have them on the website so I'm gonna do that you guys check this card out and I will see you guys for the next card review link is in the description peace